Hey guys, today we are testing out two popular jackets from Patagonia, the Patagonia Down Sweater versus the Patagonia Micro Puff. That's next. Welcome to Backcountry Renegade, I'm Jeff. Today we are looking at the Patagonia Down Sweater versus the Patagonia Micro Puff. Both these jackets are some best sellers from Patagonia. The Down Sweater has been in existence for a long time and has been one of the classic jackets from Patagonia. The Micro Puff is more of a newcomer to the lineup and it features synthetic insulation that is made to mimic the same qualities as down. Now the down sweater, as the name suggests, uses goose down feathers, 800 fill, and so it's a really good quality down jacket while maintaining light weight. Now ultimately what this may come down for you is the debate between down versus synthetic. Now just to highlight a few of those high points here. Down is usually a very good warmth to weight ratio. So you can have really good lightweight jacket while maintaining some amazing warmth. Now, synthetic these days are becoming more and more closer as they try to mimic the qualities of down, and the Micro Puff is a great example of that. Down is also usually more compressible than synthetic, so it's easier to pack and it can be lighter as well. Where synthetic, on the other hand, is actually a bit better when you're in moist and wet conditions because it can maintain its loft even while wet. Another thing is down's traditionally gonna be longer lasting. You can have down last a really long time, use it, wash it, dry it, and it can actually regain its loft, where synthetic over time will gradually deteriorate a lot faster than down. So those are just a few things to keep in mind when considering the great debate between down versus synthetic. Now let's take a deeper look at the down sweater versus the micro puff and see a little bit more about what might be the better jacket for you. Now the down sweater is a classic jacket from Patagonia. It is also one of their top selling jackets for a long time. It's been around for over 15 years with little alterations. It comes in multiple sizes, colors, and can even come in a hooded version. It also has a regular fit. This one here is a size small. It sells new for $229 and you can find it on sale every now and then. It is made of global traceable down and the shell is made of recycled materials. It is touted as being able to give the perfect warmth. Now the Micro Puff on the other hand is a newer addition that is made of synthetic insulation that is made to mimic the same qualities as down. Now it retails for $249 new, but I have found it on sale recently at REI for only $149. So if you're looking for this jacket, now's definitely a time to get it. It also has multiple sizes and colors, but a little bit less options as far as colors than you do have with the down sweater. It can also come in a hooded option. Now this is touted by Patagonia as being able to provide the best warmth to weight ratio of any jacket Patagonia has ever produced. Now looking at these two, we do have a few similarities. Both of them obviously are made by Patagonia. Both of them are hoodless versions. You can find them in hooded versions. They are both lightweight jackets and both compressible and they're good insulation layers as well. Both of these jackets have a, a great warmth to weight ratio. Both of them have elastic cuffs and both these jackets can serve as a layer underneath a shell. Both of them are relatively windproof and both have a DWR finish. Now let's take a look at some of the differences as we look a little bit more in depth on each jacket. Now the down sweater is made of wind resistant ripstop polyester. It is 20 by 30 denier for added durability in certain areas where you need it more. It is also treated with a DWR finish to help repel water and it can shed light rain but is not fully waterproof. So make sure if you get in heavy rains you do want to put a shell on this jacket. The polyester is actually made of recycled material from pre previous year's jacket, so it's pretty neat that they're trying to be environmentally friendly by using uh, polyesters from other jackets that they have used in the past. Now the Micro Puff is made of tin denier ripstop Pertex Quantum, and it's also coated with a DWR finish, so you can tell right off the back that this is a lot more fragile, delicate material than your down sweater. It is super lightweight, it is super durable and windproof and also water repellent, but it's not also waterproof as well. Since the Micro Puff is a lot thinner denier than the down sweater, it is gonna be more delicate and prone to damage and tears. 
Now let's talk about the insulation. The down sweater is made of 85 grams of 800 fill power European down. Now this is pretty neat because this is really high quality down. Uh, the higher fill power, the more lofty it is and you don't have to use as much down, which means you can get the kind of warmth you're after with using less down, which means less weight. So that's a really good sign uh, for the down sweater. The down that makes up this jacket is advanced global traceable down, which means you can trace the down from farm to factory so you can rest assured that the uh, way that the down was sourced was very a, a good ethical way it, it means that they were never force fed or live plucked which is the best sustainable way to source down so that's pretty neat for that now one of the downsides of this down is it's not hydrophobic down which means uh, that's kind of down that's coated with mic wax to help it be a bit more water resistant so you do not have that kind of down in here it's just regular down so if it gets wet it will lose its loft so just be aware of that now the micro puff uses 65 grams of plumophil synthetic insulation now this is a new kind of insulation Patagonia came up with that is meant to replicate the structure of down while providing similar warmth and compressibility and the down is actually kind of hair like uh, strands and it maintains its loft even when it's wet so pretty neat for that now let's talk about the weight. The down sweater actually uses a lot more uh, down insulation for its jacket. And so it brings the weight to 371 grams for the jacket. That's 13.1 ounces. Now compare that to the micro puff, which weighs in at only 235 grams or 8.3 ounces. So significantly less here for the micro puff. That's 136 gram difference. So pretty awesome to consider how lightweight you can go with this micro puff while still maintaining warmth. Now let's talk a little bit about the warmth. The down sweater, uh, I started to feel cold around 19 degrees Fahrenheit, where in the micro puff, I started to feel cold around 24 degrees Fahrenheit. So the down sweater is going to be the warmer of the two jackets, basically because it's using a lot more insulation. But the result is you're going to get a lot more. Uh, it weighs a lot more. So something to consider. Now for the micro puff, it has the best warmth to weight ratio. Uh, it really favors the micro puff here. A uh, big selling point for the micro puff is how lightweight it is, but how warm it is. So when you're out in, in the field and, and out in the cold, you're not going to notice a huge difference. I was able to notice it a little bit, but uh, the down sweater is slightly warmer, but you are going to be sacrificing more on the weight. Now let's talk a little bit about the quilting pattern. Now for the down sweater, you have the traditional down baffles here, which each has a compartment filled with down. And this is good because it helps prevent the down from going further into the jacket. It stays in one place and keeps it nice and lofty in that area. And you can see how this goes. The pattern continues through the arms all the way to the side and also here in the back. Now you do have these panels here um, on the bottom where you have a little bit more of a strip that goes all the way around as well. So it goes all the way into the collar as well with those baffles. So that's just a traditional way you have down. Now, one of the downsides, no pun intended, about that is these baffles. Every time you get a sewing stitch, uh, you don't have down in that area. So it can be cold. It can actually have wind go through as well. So it can feel a little bit colder and have to work a little bit harder um, to put more down to make you feel more warm because of the stitching. Now compare that to the micro puff. Unlike the down baffles and unlike the traditional brick pattern like we see on the nano puff, the micro puff has what we call horizontal seams. Uh, the horizontal seams actually have less uh, stitching. So you have more insulation surrounding the areas, which means less areas where there's no insulation and less areas where wind can penetrate through. Now, this does help maintain warmth a lot better. However, I kind of tend to feel that the down sweater is the more stylish of the two jackets if we're just comparing uh, jackets based on style. Now, I will say that the horizontal seams does really help maximize the loft. So there is a really cool innovation that uh, Patagonia has come up with with this new stitching with this uh, micro puff here.
Now let's compare the pockets. As you look at the down sweater, the down sweater has the traditional side pockets here. And this is about typical length that you see them. It feels real comfortable when you put your hands in your pockets. Uh, compare that to the micro puff, the, po the pockets are actually a little bit higher up. And the purpose of that is so you can wear a harness and it won't interfere with the pockets. Where if you wear a harness with the down sweater, it's more likely going to interfere a bit more with those pockets. Let's talk about inside pockets. The down sweater actually has one inside pocket right here. And this inside pocket, uh, you can put small things like keys, a phone. Uh, but another cool thing about it is the whole jacket can compress into this one pocket. Now, compare that with the micro puff. The micro puff doesn't have that inner chest pocket. Instead, what it does have here, open this all the way is you have two really large stow pockets, these drop stow pockets. You can put goggles, you can put uh, beanies, gloves, anything in there. I really like that feature there. Uh, really has a lot more storage capability inside. Now, I can uh, understand why they don't put that pocket when they have these things in here. And again, it seems like this is an effort more to save weight because uh, you don't have metal or pocket, uh, zipper material there uh, on the inside. Now let's talk about the cuffs. Both these jackets have elastic cuffs. They both do a good job of coming tight around your wrist so that it keeps the wind out and the warmth in. Also, let's look at the draw cords. The uh, down sweater here actually has two draw cords in here. Uh, so you can tighten and cinch down the waist of your jacket to prevent any uh, cool breezes from coming in and keeping the warm air inside as well. Now compare that to the micro puff. The micro puff does not have any of those drawstrings on the bottom here. Instead, it also has elastic. Now the elastic does a good job um, being able to keep the jacket tight, but you're not able to adjust it according to your preference. Now, I understand why they do that, and, and I'm actually preferring this because it helps you save weight. So if weight's a factor, if you're a gram counter and you're taking this backpacking and you want the lightest possible jacket for you, um, out of these two, the Micro Puff is going to be the lighter one, but you are gonna be sacrificing some of these maybe creature comforts here like that uh, drawstring there. Now let's talk about compression. As I said earlier, the down sweater can compress into the inner chest pocket. So let's check that out. And so this is how the down sweater can compress. The nice thing about it is it has a two-way zipper, so you can go ahead and zip up the jacket. Now let's compare that how the micro puff compresses, and it compresses into its left side pocket. And it compresses the same. And you also have that little a uh, little cord here so you can hang it on a carabiner. Now comparing it there, they're very similar. You can see that the down sweater obviously is the bigger of the two there that you see. Um, and holding them up, you can see a significant difference. Uh, the down sweater is definitely the heavier of the jackets when they're compressed like this. Um, not a huge difference when you look at it this way, but you can definitely tell a difference. And the micro puff is the lighter of the two jackets. So concluding thoughts, who won the jacket battle for me? Was it the Patagonia down sweater or the Patagonia micro puff? For me personally, I have to go with the Patagonia micro puff. And the reason is because the pros really outweighed the cons when comparing the two. For one, the Patagonia micro puff is going to be a lot more comfortable. I feel a lot looser and I can even do uh, a lot of reaching if I'm wearing this to climb and uh, hike and backpack. So it's better because you can also use it to maintain a harness without it interfering in your pockets. So another really cool thing. The micro puff is also gonna be a lot more breathable than the down sweater, so that is another pro for that. Another thing I like about the down sweater is the internal drop pockets that you have on both sides. They're pretty big, you can use it to store gloves or goggles, where the down sweater only has that one internal uh, left Napoleon pocket on the chest. Another pro about the micro puff is it is lighter and more compressible. So if you're backpacking and you're looking for a layer to put on at camp once you get there, or you're looking for something to wear as a really good warm mid layer, uh, the micro puff is a really good option while saving a lot of room in your backpack and the weight as well, especially if you're a gram counter. Another pro about the micro puff is even though it is listed at 249 new, you can often find this one on sale. Currently 
recently as I was filming this video, I was finding it on REI for as low as $150. So something to keep in mind when searching for the Micro Puff is you can often find it on sale. Another pro about the Micro Puff is the warmth to weight ratio. Uh, it is lightweight, but it has great warmth for its size and weight. And a lot of the reason is because of these really cool sew seams. Uh, it's the horizontal sew streams to have uh, really minimal sewing so that you don't have any uh, areas where there's no insulation and any areas where the wind can penetrate. So really cool feature uh, with the innovation uh, of that new sewing technology uh, style. Now let's consider the cons. The biggest con about the Micro Puff is the durability. It is 10 denier on the shell compared to the 20 and 30 denier on the down sweater. And so this is gonna be a lot more uh, prone to abrasions and holes. And so you have to be careful when you're backpacking and going through trees and branches and stuff so it doesn't tag on anything and produce some holes. Another con about the Micro Puff is the insulation is a little bit hair-like. And so where you do have the seams, uh, you can actually sometimes see it looks like hair. Well, if you pull it, that's actually pulling out insulation. So you have to be very careful. It's a whole lot better to just cut it rather than to pull it because you don't want to pull out insulation. Another con about the Micro Puff is it doesn't have the hem cinch cords like you have in the down sweater. That's really kind of a luxury when it comes down to getting into a jacket this lightweight. Uh, the elastic really does do the job, but if you're one who really wants to dial in the fit and everything, uh, you can't do that with the Micro Puff but you just have the elastic. And one big con to actually consider as well for the Micro Puff is its lifespan. It's gonna have a whole lot shorter lifespan overall than the down sweater. The down sweater can regain its loft after it's washed and dried, and it has the stronger uh, shell part of the uh, exterior of the jacket than the tin denier on the outside. But over time, synthetic insulation will gradually, gradually deteriorate and it'll lose its loft. And that cannot be gained back just by washing it and putting it in a dryer like you can with down. So something to consider. Now for what it is, I really do like the down sweater. It is a really good jacket. It is high quality down. It is relatively lightweight, but uh, if you're using it for backpacking and hiking, it is a bit on the heavy side. Uh, that being said, it is great to wear around town. Uh, if you do like it, it's, uh, I think, a bit more stylish than the Micro Puff uh, with this design as well. So something to just keep in mind with this. Now, if you are looking for a down jacket uh, like this uh, down sweater, uh, I think there's actually better options that are lighter and actually about the same kind of warmth if you're looking at something for backpacking and hiking. And such an option would be like, let's say the, the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer. Uh, that's one there. And so if you're interested in seeing anything like that, let me know in the comments and I can maybe make a comparison between this and the Ghost Whisperer or any other down jacket that you might be interested in. So what did you think of these two jackets? Who won the battle for you? Was it the Patagonia down sweater or the Patagonia micro puff? Leave me a comment in the comment sections. Let me know your thoughts and which one you would go with. Also, if you wanna see more jacket battle contents like this, make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up as well, and be willing to let me know which jackets you would like to see, and I'll try to make that happen. Make sure to subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.